talk about Mesopotamia. And uh, Mesopotamia was a, a very great um, uh, imperial um, civilization. And uh, they were all about mystical creatures and uh, you know developing new architectural buildings and uh, uh, and loving the nature and uh, there was lots of patterns found and uh, and one of the main pattern was expressed through flowers so today we're gonna cover how to draw the flowers so for this project, we're going to work with watercolor pencils. We're going to have our color wheel to have a look at the uh, contrast or warm and cold colors. And uh, we're going to have the marker for the uh, patterns to create pencil, uh, rubber, our sketch pad. And let's get started. Well, let's have a look at Mesopotamia, Art of Inventions. So as you can see over here, this relief sculpture found at the palace of King Sargon II in Mesopotamia. And as you can see, it's very long time ago. It's like 2350 uh, to 2000. 330 BC and um, it is looking like um, a sculpture but it's in on the wall and uh, it's carved out um, and uh, there is lots of things going on again it's like a storytelling of the history of the uh, the warriors and uh, the beasts and uh, uh, it shows like, you know, um, a tale of um, the heroes. And this is, was um, uh, at that time, uh, one of the greatest art expressions of love, uh, warriors, and uh, the uh, stories to tell. And um, <clears throat> they wanted to express them as like, really powerful um, so they would include these mystical um, uh, what is the best in animals and they would create their own uh, uh, character to show that hero that he is so powerful as the lion's body so uh, so uh, you know flying as a bird um, so he has so many great powers to be greatest and um, so wise as a human, as a human head. So this is the, the very interesting picture to with, symbol, with symbols and symbolizing the power. So uh, you need to uh, think also uh, when you're creating the art about um, how, what you wanted to tell with your picture and what the symbols of the picture means. So it's always good to read these tales and history and uh, stories and these will help you to improve your imagination and to add that into your art. So Mesopotamia, uh, the cradle of civilization, was uh, one of the beginning to where they were uh, building uh, cities they were very good in architectural buildings um, and they known as the land between two rivers and there was like a the first civilization to develop uh, and they were um, so creative uh, that the technology and culture boost very high uh, especially with creating wheel and as we know wheel is round and it helps to move heavy equipment and um, and you know that would help you know the warriors of like traveling faster um, and even you know people to uh, farming and other things to do so wheel was the best invention like stone age was best invention the fire 
Uh, so the for Mesopotamians was the best invention wheel. And then they were invented a writing system, which we know in Stone Age, where it was more like, you know, a symbols of like drawings uh, of the hands and, you know, like some animals. So now they were starting to uh, create a writing and uh, and they discover a metal and the metal work was fascinating they start making this jewelry and you know like all these little details and also it helped them to invent better tools and um, to to make a better things so all these little inventions helped them to develop into the higher um, civilization and they even created the 60 minutes uh, an hour that how to count the the time because at that time people would not even recognize a time as they just looked at the sun and maybe at the moon and you know like this is the day this is the night and maybe they would recognize the seasons a little bit but they couldn't uh, measure the time so this was the time when they created that and then they created a 12 month calendar by looking at the moon and how the moon was changing. So this is very amazing facts about uh, Mesopotamia. So uh, they created these uh, three cities that Sumerians, Babylonia and Assyria, which were very, um, um, big and uh, architecturally um, civilized, very looking like close to what we have now. And if we look at the, uh, these uh, photographs of the art uh, that was found, the ruins, and um, so you can see a lovely jewelry, you can see the cup, the plate, you can see um, the, the writing uh, board and the sculptures of the faces of people and uh, and masters and uh, some relief and mosaics uh, uh, patterns which was also one of the new discovery at that time and if you look at uh, this great wall you can see color and this is the new generation of what happening um, at um, this civilization so um, as we remember in stone age there was all all natural black and white more like you know maybe earthy colors and here we see very uh, rich in, in colors of discovering blue which is uh, you know not very it's rare to find in nature and uh, that would represent a royalty actually because of the rareness to find in 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 the nature and to make that color as a pigment and uh, also we can see like a bit of green and yellow and um, and other colors that was uh, discovered at that time. And that as gives us a new uh, possibilities of uh, artistically to express ourselves. And so if we look at this uh, a little mosaic uh, relief uh, picture here, what is dominated color you see here? So I see there is lots of blue color and uh, still earthy colors like uh, orangey and yellow. What is the topic in this picture? What do you think they were trying to show here? Think about it. Well, I'm thinking that maybe it shows like the farmers that they just came after maybe a field of like cutting some grass, uh, some weeds, uh, or I mean some prop, some uh, crops, um, and they were having a wheel to carry the wheels to carry the uh, like uh, the carriage, 
and uh, some uh, horses or animals. What ornaments and shapes in the picture? And this is very important. These questions will help you to uh, analyze the picture and then it helps you easier even to draw your own picture. So I see a circles, a rectangles, uh, I can see ovals, um, squares. So all these pictures are great um, to recognize in the picture. And let's have a look what we have in our days. And in our days, we see, um, we still have a reliefs. And if you can look at the Trafalgar Square and the sculptures and uh, uh, the reliefs to represent the story of the history, what happened in our century. Also, we have money. And uh, the pounds and pounds are also really have uh, pictures on it, and um, and the great you know like the modern artist that um, one of the examples is Stephen Wright, which is in uh, locally in London. Um, he did amazing house all out of the mosaic and found things around. Um, uh, in environment and uh, as you can see also his dominated color is blue for example on this mural and um, these all examples shows that we still continue to do the same what was done many many years thousands thousands years ago and this is what is great actually to look at the history and uh, incorporate in our day and what we have now. So today on this lesson, we are gonna draw our still life and we will incorporate the things we learn from this lesson. So the colors, um, and the patterns as like we saw lots of like um, different shapes used in our um, in the pictures before and if we look at these patterns in architecture we can include that in our composition because we are creative and we will um, incorporate uh, other things in still life as just the objects. Behind the objects is our background, which we can incorporate with lots of beautiful patterns. So this is just our reference of this slideshow and uh, you can yourself explore it online and uh, look um, around you and create your own still. So as we watch the bug Mesopotamia, uh, we see that it was also very inspiring for other modern artists to include in their work. And uh, what we noticed, uh, one of them was William Morris. He was doing all these lovely designs of um, uh, patterns uh, for fabrics and uh, wallpapers. And one of them, this one is a strawberry fig. Um, later on, he was also inspired of the ancient civilizations like Romans and Greece. And um, <clears throat> so today we're going to focus on the flower drawings and the patterns. And we will try to create our own um, beautiful flower patterns. 